Am I the scumbag for going home after I got told to sleep on the floor? I'll preface this by saying my husband, 33, has a friend, Carl, 33, who he considers to be one of his closest friends. My husband sometimes calls Carl his nicotine because of how much he misses him and wants to spend time with him. They do everything together. They're even co-workers working the same job. Unfortunately, Carlos's wife passed away from cancer three months ago, which caused him to distance himself. My husband felt devastated for him. He recently started spending more time with him and brought him meals and new clothes. We planned a three-day vacation to another state. I made a hotel reservation for two. My husband had invited Carl to come with us. This made me upset because it spoiled the entire vacation, not trying to be dramatic. I only found out when he went to pick him up. I sucked it up after my husband explained that Carl is a recent widower who's been wallowing in grief for so long and needed this vacation. The problem is money is tight, and since Carl hasn't worked ever since his wife passed, he couldn't pay for his own room, and we didn't have a budget for it. My husband said we should just share one room, and I again sucked it up, since he said we'd be out all day on the beach anyway. First night I was in bed with my husband, and Carl got back. I got woken up by my husband, telling me to get out of bed, and sleep on the mattress he put for me on the floor and he and Carl would take the bed. I asked if he was serious, and he asked what else was he supposed to do. He said Carl was a guest. We can't let him sleep on the floor, and at the same time, I can't share a bed with Carl while he, my husband, sleep on the floor. I told him I didn't sign up for this, but he told me to suck it up and tried to pull Carl as a widower card. I told Carl to get out, then got up and got dressed to go home. My husband started yelling at me, calling me irrational, but I wasn't having it. I left the hotel and traveled back home. Carl didn't say anything when he saw me leave, except that I was making this non-issue an issue. They got back and my husband refused to even talk about it, but still said I ruined this for Carl and us, and acted abhorrently and disgustingly. I admit Carl is struggling, and I might have ruined this for him, but I didn't even know he was coming. Am I the scumbag?